It's not that I want to live in some rainbow unicorn popsicles world. But I have to take care of my mental health. Greta Christina just posted that Ophelia from Butterflies and whatever put in her blog that she's not going to TAM because she's gotten death threats. You can learn about the whole saga with Skeptic and everything else, but look, I don't like Skeptic. I would not want to sit in a room with her. I think she's an arrogant little snob. However, what I think of her personally doesn't change the fact that she has good reason to question whether women are safe at atheist conventions with a bunch of MRAs on the loose. She has the right to question whether she's safe in an elevator with a total stranger at 3 o'clock in the morning who's coming on to her. She gets to ask those questions. She's covered herself. She she explained the whole situation with Tam and the founders and all that. She, it's all in her blogs. I don't need to. But this butterflies person, she was going to go. Okay, I thought I was hardcore. I was not hardcore. Jesus, I thought I was being pretty hardcore a little while ago when I said some really nasty shit to this bitch claiming to be a rape victim as a justification for insulting me. I was like, quote, Yeah, well, you deserved it, so fuck you. I hope it happens again soon. I'm tired of being treated like shit by you mean little cunts and then you using your rape as an excuse. Fuck you. I think we should give the guy who raped you a medal. I hope you fucking drown in rape, semen. You ugly, mean spirit cow. Actually, I don't believe you were ever raped. What man would be tasteless enough to stick his dick into a human cesspool like you? Nice gif of a turd going into my mouth. Is that kind of like the way the rapist's dick went in your pussy? Or did he use your asshole? Or was it both? Maybe you should think about it really hard for the next few hours. Relive it as much as possible, you know? Try to recall. Was it my pussy or my ass? End quote. I was like, damn right, that's fucking hardcore. People didn't think I'd go there. I'm edgy. But they do that with African American people? They wouldn't do it with gay people, I know that, or queer people. You know why? Because we're expedient. We're evidence that the church is corrupt and evil. But it's only skin deep because I see these enlightened atheists posting softcore porn of two young, obviously cisgendered, obviously heterosexual models making out, and they think that that's their big gay rights statement. And then when myself and a couple other people pointed out that we are not sexual beings, we are beings just like you are, and we would like to be portrayed as doctors and lawyers and nurses and carpenters and construction workers and parents, just like ordinary people, then I get told to lighten up. When the sexist jokes come, the women get told to lighten up. And none of them sons of bitches knows what a genderqueer is. Oh, I support gay marriage. Um, I'm not gay, and I don't want to get married. And what the hell are you talking about? You know, there's this thing called Wikipedia. Why don't you make sure you know what you're talking about before you open your mouth? Critical thinker, skeptic. And the thing with the people with disabilities. You know what this is? It's frat boys. And the big leaders like Dawkins. Dawkins. The difference between male and female brains. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jumping all over skeptic about that elevator thing. Compared to female genital mutilation. 
you know, a woman with fistula and, and female genital mutilation might actually survive. But you don't know when you're locked in an elevator at 3 o'clock in the morning if you're going to survive. Appropriate behavior, you know, appropriate behavior. If you were in an elevator with Dawkins at 3 o'clock in the morning, would you invite him to your room for a cup of coffee? I don't think so. So here's the deal. I'm sick of you using the word cunt. I'm sick of you using the word twat. I'm sick of it. There's no excuse for it. And every time one of you does it, I'm going to call you on it. And if you do it again, I'm unsubscribing from your channels. I'm leaving your Facebook pages. You have nothing to say to me because you have nothing to say to me. Because you're showing no respect. Dawkins going after Islam. Oh, really? Going after the burqa. Going after the hijab. Going after the women. Thunderfoot with that cute little video about that, oh, whatever that woman's name was in, in England. Pretty little thing, patronizing, condescending. Attack her ideas, not her physical appearance, not what she's wearing. The issue of hijab and the issue of burqa is far too complex for you, white boy. You have no idea. So with all your skepticism and critical thinking, I'm really sick of the knee-jerk reactions. You are so reactionary. It's not about being a celebrity. It's about doing good in the world. It's about making a way for people so they can escape their religions and learn critical thinking and learn skepticism, learn the beauty of scientific method, learn the beauty of the reality that's around them. It's not about I'm right and you're an idiot. I'm right and you're ignorant. I'm right and you're a sheep. It's not about that. You're no better than the fundamentalist when you do that. Attack the bosses. Don't attack the ones that are too afraid or they're thinking about leaving, but they, they get confronted with all this bile and hate and sanctimony. And of course, they're going to go running right back to the church. So it looks like my focus is going to get really, really narrow because I'm not going to play in the sewer. I'm talking about ethics. I do good because I choose to do good. I don't do good because if I do bad, God will punish me. Oh, really? You do good when it's convenient. You do good when somebody's watching. What's the difference? Just a notch on your resume. You don't have ethics when it's convenient. You have ethics when it's not convenient. You know, a little thought went through my head. What if those death threats aren't coming from atheists? What if it's a plant? Like, you know, the National Organization for Marriage trying to pit blacks against gays and Latinos against, you know, what if it's something like that? We had the reason rally. We were gaining a little momentum. 
And now we're going to splinter into factions. At each other's throats. Can we afford that? Can the planet afford that? Can this country, can the United States afford that in this election year? Can we afford this? I don't know how to work in coalition. It's every man for himself. Hey, you look at the YouTube women, the comments about their bodies, not about the content of their message, the comments about their bodies. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything and you're falling. 